be paying them the amount they should pay this year, but they will not pay them what they owed them last year. That's why it's called non-cumulative. All right? Ordinary shareholders now are those persons who are paid, are shareholders that are paid after the preference shareholder. They are paid last from the profit. All right? So we have preference shareholders and we have ordinary shareholders. All right? Um, and so the monies with dividends would be calculated. Right? So you, you, you are calculating the preference share dividends. And let us say this is uh, 4,000 and this is 6,000. And that is going to be uh, 10,000. So we add up all of the, the all deductibles, 25,000. And we are going to subtract it from the 129. So we are going to have 104,000. And this would be your new retained profit. That would be the, this would be the new retained profit. That's the idea of the appropriation account. Nevertheless, we want you to understand the, the concepts little by little. We're going to be going um, on the other side of this, this lesson. We're going to go a little bit more practical, a little more detailed, and we're going to do some exercises just to clarify some of the concepts that have been raised in this lesson, particularly in relation to reserves, in relation to preference shares and preference share dividends that is paid, how it is calculated, yes, how it is recorded in the balance sheet, etc. We are going to be treating with those issues when we go over into the, our second lesson, treating, dealing with company accounts. But at this time, we want to thank you for sharing with us at this time. And we ask if you like what the presentation has been given, you please click the button below. And we ask that if it's the first time that you click the subscription button and you will be a member per se of this um, August group called Kings and Queen Accounting Class. Thank you.